Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome and welcome back to the JR Fizzy channel, the channel that helps you make easy coins every single day. And of course, the home of the 6 p.m. content live stream. Today, I'm going to be talking about the easiest way that you guys can make 100,000 coins. What? Yes, 100,000 coins today. You can do it. You don't need a big balance. You don't need a big coin ban. You could start this method with 10,000 coins. That's how easy it is. If you do enjoy, make sure to smash a like, obviously. Let's see if we can get 120 likes on the video. That'll be absolutely amazing. And of course, subscribe to the channel and join Team Boozer if you guys want to make daily coins every single day. We have two uploads, a 2 p.m. upload, which is this video right here. That is trading methods on how to make coins easily as a beginner trader. And then in the 9 p.m. videos in the evening, we've got how to talk, like we do pack opening videos, whatever's on the game, the content around that and discussion videos as well. Obviously, we have the 6 p.m. content live stream. We live stream every single day on YouTube for 6 p.m. content. So make sure you guys come and check it out. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, I'm not going to dilly dally, but I'm just going to quickly show you my transfer list at the moment. So we've just got a few things selling on the market. I lost, I lost two, I lost a little bit on the Kamara because that left back came out yesterday, the Kazawa. So I took a couple of L's on some Kamaras here. We lost about 2,000 coins uh, like uh, overall in general. So that's fine, no problem. Made a couple of K on uh, Zielinski. Made about 4k on this Dumfries, which is really, really nice. So I'm happy about that. And then on the transfer list, we've got a couple of things selling. Just so we've got about uh, about 50 uh, fi about 50,000 coins on the list. So about after that, we should have around 230k. Right. So what you want to do is you want to go to Bronze Rare, League R, Basic. Search. That's it. That's all you have to do. All you got to do is just search for the cards. What you want to do is you want to find cards. Now... I do have to give you guys the best time to do this method. The best time to do this method is around 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's the best time to do it. That's when there's most packs being opened. That's when the most supply of the cards. That is the best time to do it. What you want to do now, if we look at a bronze rare from the league, uh, the cheapest card on the market at the moment currently is going for around 700 coins. So what you want to do is you want to bid on everything that is under that price. So, uh, I mean, to be fair, you, you don't even need to go 700 coins. We could go 600 here and you've uh, found a few cards here. What you want to do, can you see this? I want to bid on that because the least coins I can get is um, obviously 450 coins, right? That's what you want to do. All you want to do is just mass bid. Mass bid the, everything that is underneath the maximum threshold. So, for example, the threshold for at the moment, the threshold you're looking at, I mean, to be fair, that is a snipe. Yep, that is a snipe right there. 250 coins for a bronze rare striker. Yeah, I'll take that happily. Because I'll tell you I'll tell you right now, he's going for more, more than 200 coins, as you guys can clearly see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bid on every single card. Yep, every single card. And this is what you do. You basically bid on every single card, right? I've got examples as well, so don't worry about it, guys. I have got examples on my transfer list, which is I always like to keep um for you guys so you guys know that when i pick these cards up i'll have some on the transfer list to show you as examples so that you guys can get a grasp of how like how much to bid for etc etc what i do is i don't bid anywhere over 400 coins i don't no it's not even 400 I, yeah actually 400 i don't bid anywhere over 400 coins unless you search and you see a lot of cards for 400 coins if you see a full page of 400 coins don't bid more than 400 However, I don't bid more than 400 anyways, and this is all I do. And because people don't care about this particular market, they don't even look at it. They don't even look at it. Now, this card has just been outbid on, which is no problem. I'll just bid on them again. And I've got 27 minutes for these all to, to just rest out. Just bid on every single card. Because with this, with this filter right here, it's more about the quantity rather than the quality of the transfer, as in the quality of the trade. So you're not looking at how many coins you're making per card. You're trying to make as many trades as you can uh, in, in a certain amount of time. So you don't want to be to just sit there on one card and be like, oh my God, I can make a thousand coins on this card. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is make f uh, 200 coins on five cards. That's a thousand coins right there. That's what you want to be doing with this method. And that, that's the thing about this method. Because it's such, because no one really looks at this part of the market, it's really, really easy uh, to make coins on it. And uh, like I said, I did this every single day. I have been I did it yesterday and I made almost 100,000 coins from doing it. And I did, I, I did it for like three hours. 
If you do this for the whole day, I can't even imagine how many coins you can make. If you guys did this from morning to evening, you guys can probably make more than 100,000 coins. Boys, team of the year is coming at U7 buy. You can get some very, very special offers. There's also going to be up to 14% off and then also a 10 million foot coins giveaway. Check out the team of the year special on the website. And of course, use my code Fizzy for a 5% off. New customers get extra 8% off. Let's get busy. Let's pack some team of the years, boys. When you're doing the bronze market, bronze res only. Do not do it with the common cards. Bronze res only. Okay, very important. So, the cheapest bronze rare card on the market for a league R is 600 coins. Now, you could compare price back out, compare price back out. See if something comes up for less than 600 coins and start sniping that. I'm going to bid on this anyways, just because while I'm here, why not? Um, and then that's what you do. Just compare price back out. You can see this popped up for 550. If you want to take it, have a punt on it. You can do because what you can do is you see this card, 550 coins, right? I'm getting more than 550 coins on that. You, you know I am. You, you know it, right? So you go, you, you list this up for 850 coins. And again, with this method, it's about the quality, the quantity. So the quantity, the amount of trades that you can get done in a specific amount of time. And all you do is just bid on everything. So the max price was 600 for every league I card. What you want to do is put this to 600, not even 600, put this to 500. So you don't bid more than 500 and you bid on every single card. That's all you got to do. You bid on every single card. Every card that is below that price, bid on it. Doesn't matter how many coins you've got. Just bid on everything until you can't bid anymore. And then wait, see what you get. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Guarantee you'll make so many coins. Just be careful that you don't buy one out by accident, obviously. Um, but rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. As you can see, loads of people are bidding on these cards because I think this method's getting very, very popular. However, I'm going to bid on all these cards. Now, I've got an hour to wait, so I could just wait the full hour for you guys. But if I did, I wouldn't be obviously getting this video out. So... If you want to see the profits of this video, make sure to check out my live stream tonight at 5.30. I will be showing you everything that's sold from this video. This comes out at 2pm. I'll be selling everything and showing you everything on the transfer market at 5.30pm. However, for the purpose of this video, I do, as I said, have some examples for you that I managed to pick up last night. As you can see, that guy that we sniped up for 200 coins in this video has just sold for 500. So we've got 300 coin profit. 250, I mean, to be fair, we take away 25. So you've made 200, uh, how many have we made? Two, we sniped for what, 250? So you've made about 225 coins there. This guy, again, sold last night. Got some silvers going on. Right, these are the examples that I picked up. So this guy right here, I picked up for 300 coins. I'm going to try and list him up for 500 and see if he sells. That 500 should come off the market. So I should make a couple of K there. We've got th this card, same card. You'll, you'll get to know the cards as well. You'll see, you'll see loads of the same players. So again, I'm going to list him up for uh, six, 700. Get him sold off. Goalkeeper, again, gets for 200. Sometimes these goalkeepers go up a little bit when they're needed for a specific SBC. I'm going to list that up for 600 there. Um, get that one sold. This striker Hornby, we got for uh, how much? 300 coins. I'm going to list it up for 500. Get him sold as well. CDM. This guy's a de decent card to pick up. Um, he is he's one, more, one of more of the expensive ones, should I say. I'm going to list it up for 750 right there. And then this goalkeeper here got for 250 yesterday. I'll list him up for 300. Uh, well, I list him up for 400 actually get 150 coins on there and that's exactly what you want to keep doing You just want to keep listing everything and like I said as you can see I'm um, you're gonna get outbidded on stuff We've just lost two cards because people have just bought them off You're gonna you're gonna lose you're gonna lose things on it. It's not a problem This guy right here's price seems to have increased a little bit So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bid 450 on it uh, and see if we can pick him up, right? Again this this center back card. He'll go for a little bit. He usually goes for around 800 coins later on this guy, again, just been bought out. Sometimes people just get buyed out, uh, like bought out, and that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. 250 there, we'll list them up. And then this is all you do. Just go through the market for about half an hour, chilling whilst listening to some music, and have a look at the cards. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I will leave a link to the viewer that gave me this video. His name is Bram. If you haven't already, go follow him in the link description. Big up to Bram. Thank you so much, mate, for giving me this method because I wouldn't have known without you. He's been making loads and loads of coins on this. So I'll leave all of his links in the description for you um, so you can hit him up and he can maybe give you some more methods because he did say he's got more methods to share. So hopefully we can um, you know, have a look and get some more methods on the channel. But guys, honestly, try this method out. You make loads and loads of coins. I know that the coins may not seem um, a lot when you make one trade.
But when you stack 10 to 20 to 50 up of these, it will be a lot of money. I'm telling you that now, guarantee it. Smash a like on the video if you have enjoyed it and you want to see more of these videos. Hit that subscribe button as well for the daily uploads twice a day and the 5.30 live stream for the 6 p.m. content. This is the only channel on YouTube every single day that you will find guaranteed live for the 6 p.m. content. I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will be later on today in the stream. I've been your boy, and I hope you enjoy. Team Boozer, we out. Peace.